Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Now today I'm gonna be doing another episode of where I make someone completely overpowered and just let the AI play. Now someone suggested I do tribal. As you can see, I've made Bjorn Ironside, I've made him immortal, and I've given him 100 stat man. Now I've also gone into more game rules, which is another mod, and I've just turned AI aggressiveness up, so they should fight a bit more, and I'm just gonna let it play. So to start, he's got about 3,000 troops. Now because he's got such high martial, I should shoot up completely. Okay, now, so he is attacking you. He's flying through that wall as well, which is good. So with this marshal, oh, he just won that as well. So that's a nice big bit of expanding for him early on. As you can see, with 100 marshal, he's getting 212% more levy size. And obviously, everyone's going to love him, just like last time, because of his diplomacy. So general opinion is up a lot. People just like him. So his levy size should just get bigger and bigger. There we are. He's formed the Kingdom of Sweden. He's got truces. Now he's allied with... Okay, so he's attacking more up here. Shit, so he's going brave, he's gone for two walls at the same time. Just attacking absolutely everybody, which is what you love to see. He didn't get such a boost in troops like um, Rodri in the last episode. Rodri in the last episode just boosted his troops to 6,000 instantly, which was insane. Okay, I'd like to see how quick he makes Scandinavia, because he's making some super quick progress. As you can see, he's just getting bigger and bigger. This shouldn't take long, he's gone for this. So yeah, he's up to almost 6,000 troops, and that's just giant compared to anybody near him. So yeah, who's he attacking now? He up there, I assume. Yep. So yeah, he's just expanding stupidly fast. Which is what's good about, you know, the tribal Edens and playing the Vikings early on as well. They're just fun to play. Okay, another war. Who's he going for? Alright. So early on like this, he's probably trying to expand stupidly fast. Hopefully he gets... You can see here the Empire Scandinavia. That'd be pretty cool if he gets there quite quick. A 14-year-old while he's 57. Come on. Sort it out. Be interesting to see how the rest of the world pans out with higher AI aggressiveness, because as you can see, probably most people are at war. So it looks like he's helping Estonia. So it looks like he's just helping Estonia, defending against Novgorod. Okay, so he's still having quite a few kids, but gonna outlive them all, to be honest. Doing a lot of defending, but I want to see him get some attacking, maybe some of the bigger land masses up here. Okay, so he's attacking for this little land in the middle here, Varmaland. Now he should... Yeah, there's no way he loses that, to be honest. Now he's got almost 13,000 troops, and now it's starting to snowball. You see the effects of having just insane martial with all the boost of levy size. Maybe I took over that. I would like to, um... I think he's still allied. Yeah, he's allied with Denmark, so maybe he push up, get up to Norway. There we are, just as I wanted. He is starting to attack a little bit of, well, where Norway would be, but... Okay, so it looks like his alliance of... So he's allied with Sweden, and he's attacking them. Ah, uh, there's a little snake in the grass right there. Summer. Hey, little boy. Um, how is that a thing? Yeah, they're still allied. Should fly through that. Let's have a look. So that is for Finland, which is nice. Love a bit of a foothold over here to the east across the river. There we go. So it's 9.05 AD. He's up to, well, he was just at 15,000 troops. Still absolutely giant compared to everyone. So hopefully he gets a bit more stuck in there. Gets a few more wars. He's the living legend and religious icon. Okay, so he's the main person going for some more land over to the east. Okay, so he's got that war, and I'm assuming, yep, yeah, straight away then. Focused on the other war, and he's got that. But that was for an ally anyway, so not really important, but it is what it is. No. It's only 908, and you can see how much it's expanded. He had what? Area around here? Up to 20,000 troops now, coming on to 21,000. Well, there we are, just appeared up almost 22k already. Okay, so finally he is attacking. Got a bit of dent. Oh, it's just for that though. But he is fighting with Denmark. So he managed to win the war with Denmark for the little county or chieftain, I think they call them. Now, I would like to see him go for a bit more of Denmark, but he's going to have to wait that five years, isn't he? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, okay, so Denmark making big moves over here. 15. We did just take a big chunk of where Norway would be. Oh, okay, so he's doing a bit more attacking. Here we are, so he's taking that, she has, oh that's horrible, why has he done that? Do not approve of that. That is one of the worst borders ever, come on. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. You have to, you know, fill some of this up. Can't just be doing that. Oh my god, why? Ah, oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's even worse, you could have at least gone for that one, but no, you oh god. Okay, I didn't think I've ever seen West Francia get so long. We've got all of Italy almost. Sweden could definitely. Oh, what's this? Attacking now. Gone for. 
that, really. Oh, God. Why would you not, you know, take these out? It's just took a bit of land here. Now, it's a bit cleaner now, his borders. Hopefully, he gets these bits done here soon. But honestly, I think I'd rather him move into Europe, maybe, or just do some random, or just go Africa or something like, you know, come get have fun. There we are, have fun. Brilliant, there we go. So he's definitely going to war way more often, which is what we're expecting. He's still going for, like, smaller places, but that's fine, I suppose. He's doing it so often, he is expanding pretty fast. As you can see, he took another bit there. I see England's got all of Cornwall. They've got all the south. Well, they've got a bit of Ireland as well. Obviously, as you'd expect, there's some riots and inside fighting going on inside of France. Surprise, surprise. How old am I now then? I'm 105 and... Uh-oh, this happened last time. Why is she imprisoned? Oh, right, she cheated on him. Right, is he gonna kill her, do you think? Bet's on. Two for two. Oh, there we go. It's happened both times now. They've been imprisoned. Last time he executed her because he, she got excommunicated. I have no idea why. Oh, that was quick. Okay, now. Didn't even have time to finish what I was saying. And he's already on the ball with another one. Okay, so he is going for... Ooh, that's... Bit bigger, that's good. Oh, the Aldum he's going for. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, that is disgusting down here. I don't even want to know. I'm not even going to look. So you are defending against... Okay, that's just peasant revolt. It looks like I ignore that. But I enjoy making these. I think last episode I recorded, for, say, two hours. I ended up like a 20-minute video. So there's a lot I cut out, but... I find it super interesting with AI and that's just to see how they go. Thinking about doing it some other games, sort of different scenarios than this, obviously. But I just find it interesting to do some sort of setup that's a bit different and just see how it plans out like. And I think it's a good way to like improve commentary and talk. Oh my god, how's it got worse? Oh god. Okay, so he won that one. He's about to win this one down here and get some of this land. What's his youngest kid now? 49. Bloody hell, they're growing up fast. Well, he is 111, I suppose. That kind of makes sense. Oh no, get it out. Now in this episode, and like last time, will they actually expand out of the area? Come on, England maybe? Okay, so he is going for a bit over here, so he's more interested on, we're like Finland, this sort of area. Which I honestly expected him to get all of Norway first, to be honest. So he's got a good chunk of Scandinavia, to be fair. Maybe get more of this north part. Definitely be getting that soon if he carries on attacking. Obviously, he's attacking for his allies a sec. Making good progress. A lot quicker than last time, I think. Oh, at 9.45. 9.46. Yeah, he's expanded quite a lot, to be fair. Oh, no. The, the terrible borders are actually just spreading. Look, look at all this. Now oh, they're actually just spreading up here. Nice. So he is attacking for small land. Let's see if he wins. Because that has gone up against... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Not looking so good for Denmark right now. With, you know, 500 troops. So, the swarm cometh, the swarm taketh. Oh, so it doesn't come in have any too many allies again, so hopefully it'll stop going off to random wars once he gets this bit here, which should be any second now. Start focusing on more around him again. Okay, so a bit, I don't know why, but a bit of Denmark just disappeared back to Swedish. Okay, this is strange. So a bit of Ireland's gone to England. I don't think I've ever seen that, to be honest, once. Ooh, Powys, Wales is getting a bit big like to see that. Honestly, I would have thought the borders would have fixed themselves by now, but still got a little bit better, but look at now. Crazy down there right now, so I'll leave them to that. Let's go on back up to Sweden, so he is attacking, okay, so he is attacking Upland, oh well, no, not Upland anymore. Okay, so Upland's changed to, um, the word I'm not gonna, oh my, well, up to 45k, I was gonna say 50k, but he's, well, he's not there yet. Okay, so he's gone to war for this little land up here, another chieftain, he's gone to war with you. So yeah, he is doing well in this one, he's obviously got truce with the people he just beat now. And this war should be over any second now, he's got about 41k, here they are. The swarm once again. How many children he's had? 23. Complications, heart failure. And this guy is just living his best life for 151. Is he still miserable? I oh, can't. I thought we'd have got over that by now. Comfort eater. Okay, she's gonna get giant as well. To be fair, I'm not sure unless I actually like play as the character. If I can see how close they are to making, say, an empire or a title. So if I go to like say Scandinavia, obviously I'm not playing as anyone, so I can't see. So he's attacking for what? This bit of land here, okay. So it's again, just attacking for small bits of land. I would like to see them attack a bit more. Oh, Powys has just lost all this land. Ireland's still over here, for some reason a bit of Ireland. 
It's actually going for a war. Now, what is it actually on? This, right? Why? Out of everything, you go for like probably the smallest bit of land I can see. Fair enough. So he's just joining allies towards the sec, just doing a lot of defending down here. And he is against quite a few people. But they do seem to be losing, but it doesn't really matter in the long run for him. Oh, I just noticed, I think, why he's gone a bit slower. He has gone to feudal now. So that makes sense of why he's been a bit slower attacking. And he just seems to be constantly defending with his allies. So I'm not sure how much more growth we're going to see. I really thought if we went to feudal, he might have got enough to actually make Scandinavia. But it doesn't seem to have gone that way. Now I'm going to let it play a bit longer. Just to see what happens. Maybe he will go on a crazy attacking spree. You don't know. But it'd be interesting to see. A Mongolian that's still absolutely giant. Uh-oh. And he's a drunkard. Comfort eater. Okay, yeah, I forgot he was comfort eater. So he's an incestuous comfort eater drunkard. And he's miserable, which I don't blame him. He is at getting on 180 now. Oh, he is attacking. What's it for? He's making some progress again. He's back attacking, not just defending everyone. But he's still doing that, I think. He's literally all he's done for the past, about 30 years is just help this faction, it seems. So he is about to win that and he should get it. Maybe this county be here? Oh. Okay, he seemed to be fighting it for Denmark. I gen for some reason, I thought that was for himself. I swear I clicked on it and it was just him. But I think I am being a bit blind, which is fair enough. So he just started attacking, well, four months ago, but I forgot to pause. But he just started attacking Chieftain Radomir. Not oh, great. It's not for him again. So he is just, he just seems to be doing his allies' battles. I think all his allies are still tribal. Tribal, yeah, so they're going to war so much more than him because it's a lot easier for them to do so and he obviously just joins Which is kind of slowing him down because he's just not fighting for himself. He's not gaining any land Right, he seems to just be sitting here and since he's gone to feudal He doesn't seem to really be expanding. He's literally just getting pulled into wars with his allies, which is cool But so I've been sitting here for probably a good 20-25 minutes since he's gone feudal He just doesn't seem to be going for anyone himself really he seems to just be defending his allies getting called into their wars or just people attacking him because a lot more people around him still tribal i'm gonna leave it here for this one so if you watch all the way to the end thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you have any more suggestions for any other type of videos i could do or anything you're interested in seeing please let me know so anyway thank you for watching hopefully i'll see you in the next one